What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be working on the Mustang with a little bit of, I don't want to say track prep because these definitely are not ideal for tracking on, but I'm going to be lowering this car finally. For now, we're going to be starting with Ida lowering springs. Because I did recently sell the Tacoma, the Mustang is kind of now technically my daily driver. Even though I do generally ride motorcycles most, of the day, most days of the week, but I didn't want to go too crazy just yet with the Mustang. So we're going to be starting with Steeda lowering springs. These should ride pretty decently. And then apparently it'll drop the rear about an inch and the front about like a little more than an inch. They claim 1.1 inches, so basically an inch. And then after these springs, I don't have the wheels on me ready to go right now. I still need to get tires mounted, but I do have some new American racing wheels to put on this car. Going to look really cool. And yeah, I'm super excited to get started on this car. Again, starting off kind of slow with the mods on this because I don't want to go like too hardcore with it. The E46 is going to be more of that uh, with the KWs and the BBS wheels and probably you, you guys will see in the future. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dope, turn me to a superhero. Yeah, yeah. Hit that pill, turn me to a superhero. Yeah. Boom, my night is turn me to a superhero. Yeah. yeah. Metro, <laughs> Alright, this has actually been a lot more work than I originally anticipated, so I haven't been doing a good job filming it because every bolt on this American car is so big. Like, I'm using a 24 mil on an impact, which I've never used on any of my other Hondas or <laughs> Japanese cars. But they're so tight, and I finally, after a lot of wrestling, was able to get uh, the knuckle nuts off of the strut, calipers off, rotors off. All for the name of some springs. I always forget, like, springs take a lot more time to install than even, like, a coilover setup. Speaking of Japanese cars. Damn. Hey, I need you guys to get your own goddamn T37s. I do have my own. <laughs> what is this? I just have more than everybody now. Oh, yeah. I but... collect them. <laughs> Yeah, I already have my own. <laughs> Tell him to get his own. <laughs> I bought my own. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> God damn. All right, we're going a lot faster now that Christian and Joe are here helping me. <laughs> I would not break it. There you go. That's what you just shoot telling Joe there's a way to do this with a chain link fence. Shout out Papa Doc is racing for showing us how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Woo! Good job. <laughs> Man, all this not even putting coils on it, just <laughs> playing with the stop buttons. <laughs> What the fuck is that? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, you're trying to fucking do something and I just get a fucking... What is that, a pylon? Enjoy yourself with it. Thanks, man. There's there's no way to, like, analyze this. <laughs> like, yeah, no, These are just, better. You just stand them next to each other and that's how much lower it's going to be. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know that's not true, but... Nah, it's definitely true. There's, like, no way to demonstrate... <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, wait. Go, go do that as like a pogo stick. <laughs> hey, Joe, come stand on these. What the fuck? Yeah, it's stiffer, guys. <laughs> What's up? I'm currently using my tiny fingers to try to get this fucking wire out of here. Can you, can you look at the camera when you speak? I, you look at me. Speak. I hate how you said look at you, <laughs> and then I looked at the fucking camera. That's what you're supposed to do. Look at the light. You just don't get that dirty. Yeah, well, this car is like 1,700 miles on it now. Too many. Wow, that's, seven, that's 1,700 miles worth of dirt. for a different colored one. <laughs> I actually want I've to... seen it. Wait, I've seen this one before. <laughs> I want the 10-speed auto now. Okay, so right now I got Christian and Joe helping me out with the back. I am currently working on the front passenger side. About to take that spring off. As far as the front driver's side, that strut is now ready to go. Spring's all good. 
<laughs> you're actually, oh wait, both of you guys had Mustangs before me. Damn, that's why it's going so well. You, you guys did. You guys did a little collab. You, which one was yours? Really? Yeah. Mine was O five. You in O five too? Yeah. What color is yours? Red. Oh, Cherry red. red. Well, I guess I didn't know you. Yeah. I love that car. I, that I car's a piece in, of I shit. <laughs> Want me to put a foot on the rotor? Love that. Oh, that's a spring. Oh! <laughs> well, thanks to C. Will's very convenient Mustang mechanic skills, this job is coming to an end, I hope. Definitely still need alignment. Tires and wheels need to be mounted. And the springs need to settle. Oh yeah, it's lower. <laughs> I don't know about the, the rears need to settle too though. That doesn't look as low, but the front, you can already tell. It's a lot lower. <laughs> All right guys, so this is actually day two. Had to drive back to my parents' house because <laughs> I noticed some weird clunking coming from the rear. I actually looked it up I and I found out the rear subframe bolts need to be torqued to 180 foot pounds, which Christian and I and Joe definitely did not do. We kind of just did it like a little wing it with an impact gun. And I also noticed this exhaust tip is crooked AF. It was definitely not like that, but. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> Why was Shia always said It's like funny. Are we still rolling? <laughs> oh, we are. Okay. That's Trisha. She's a little nervous to be on camera. I'm not nervous at all. I'm very comfortable. Actually. Had to change into some pajamas floating around my parents' house real quick. So it don't mess up the... Honestly, it wasn't even dressed that good, but... Put the... I'm more talking to the viewers right now, because Trisha's behind the camera, and she doesn't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> But I think the biggest change for me working on this car a little bit, other than me not having standard size wrenches and sockets, well, I guess I actually do have sockets as I open them, but I don't have any like American wrenches. And then other than not having the proper tools for this car, I also don't have, or I, I've just never seen a car that like, with lug nuts torqued to 150 foot pounds and like a subframe torqued to 130 foot pounds is like pretty ridiculous to me. So uh, no more hand tight stuff on this car, I guess. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I totally know you. <laughs> know everything that you just said. See, you guys, we're lifting up the car, and then we're tightening the bolts. <laughs> <laughs> we're not, I'm not lifting it up yet. I'm actually so I'm gonna check these, uh, the strut mount bolts. I know the, the the strut mount or the strut tower bolts are tight, but I want to just check as much as I can. I don't think I noticed any clunking in the front, mostly in the rear, but I'm just going to do like a general bolt check on everything we touched from yesterday. Exactly. Hands ready? <laughs> just a day in the life. <laughs> All right, these are way <laughs> These are way looser than 130 foot pounds. <laughs> That's definitely why the car was creaking so much. Oh my god. <laughs> There we go. Nice. Okay. The rear subframe should be good now. <laughs> it's nice under here. Can't get roasted for this. Honestly, I need to improve the fitment a little bit more. I've been like tweaking with it every time I have the car up in the air. So slowly but surely getting better. This gap should be less. It's better, a lot better on the driver's side than the passenger side. So I'm gonna tweak with it, or tweak it a little bit. Ow, that was loud. So yeah, front, <laughs> front passenger knuckle, also loose. Definitely I'm gonna have the, a loose front driver knuckle right now too. 180 foot pounds. Totally different from like working on a 90s Honda Civic or an S2000. I don't know, it's it really stupid, but it's blowing my mind. <laughs>
ain't worried.